the fire moth, the clan scout mech? Or is it? Is the fire moth really a scout mech? Well, I guess we'll find out. So let's crack open, open our 3050 TRO and find the fire moth. It should be in the very beginning. The clans are showcased in some of the, it's the first mech amongst the clans. Here it is. There she is, the fire moth in all its variants. This is the first time that you see mask and that's a um, piece of equipment that causes you to run at twice your walk instead of 1.5 times your walk um, if you activate it, but if you have to roll 2d6 to make sure you don't roll snake eyes. If you roll snake eyes, it damages your legs and it's permanently disabled for, th for the rest of the game. Now, usually variants of the scout mech are just other scout mechs, but not with the fire moth. With the fire moth, the, some of the variants have significantly different functionality, and one of them is actually a hardcore combat unit. So the primary fire moth is already pretty tough. It's got um, a pretty powerful set of uh, weapons with two different kinds of SRM and two ER medium lasers. Variant A I don't like so much, but maybe somebody does. Um, it's got the AMS and SRMs. I always thought that it would be better if it had the AMS and like LRMs because that way it could kind of trade snipes from a distance. But instead, it's got these SRMs, and that's its only weapon. Variant B is like the rapid fire pulse weapons, like pulse lasers and um, machine guns for anti-infantry. So you can think of this like as a anti-infantry type unit. Variant C, now this is what I'm talking about. With these LRMs, dual LRMs, and the AMS, it can pick away, especially since it can control range because it's so fast, especially with mask, that this can just hit and run. And finally, Fire Moth D. This one has so many ER medium lasers that uh, it can do serious damage. This is a serious frontline combat unit. It also has high battle value. To, pay, uh, to make you pay for it. Just so you understand what um, Fire Moth D can do, let's say you're in a, uh, a stalker and you're just kind of moseying along and you're going up against the Fire Moth D. Hey, easy win, right? Well, let's say the uh, Fire Moth wins initiative. You mosey along at your slow speed towards the Fire Moth. And the uh, fire moth runs 20 hexes to flank you and shoot five me medium ER lasers into your back. Now, let's say the fire moth loses initiative. Oh, you got him now. Ha ha ha, right? Nope. Basically, you spend all your move to turn around to face the fire moth. The fire moth runs out of range of your longest weapon, your LRM. Okay, so now let's talk actual combat performance in the simulations. For 728 trials, the Fire Moth Prime wins 32%. Uh, the other ones are similar, except Fire Moth D wins 48% of its battles. It basically wins almost as much as some of the lighter heavy inner sphere mechs or the heavier medium inner sphere mechs now they all have ferrofibrous fibrous uh endo and xl engines but um the fire moth d is particularly expensive at 2300 battle value whereas like the fire moth c is more like a cheap scout now we're gonna have to analyze the actual performance per metrics so wins per battle value the uh C variant is pretty good. Note the A variant is not included in the calculations. So the third line is actually the C variant and the top line is prime. It's a 0.4 wins per kilo battle value. The best is of course the D um, with, for per ton at 24 wins per kiloton. 
and it's also the best for wins per mega C bill. Uh, but its battle value is slanted because of the high uh, high speed, I think. And also because clan tech tends to be possibly overvalued in battle value, but I'm not sure yet. 